Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you for our time together. I want us to come back to Jesus' words in the Sermon on the Mount as he, he says something very confrontational. Now, the thing is, when you, you read the words of Jesus, you're going to find he was probably the most confrontational preacher you ever met in your life. He was always challenging our thoughts and minds, and still is today. In chapter 7, beginning with verse 15, Jesus said, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. So, all right, we, we learn about false prophets, that they don't dress like shepherds, they dress like sheep. Okay, you're, you're more careful about who you listen to as a shepherd, but you're not as careful what sheep you listen to. And that these sheep are ravenous wolves. They're, they always travel in a pack. Wolves don't travel alone. So these false prophets, there's a, a group of them that move around together. He said, now let me tell you how to recognize them. You'll recognize them by their fruits. Are grapes gathered from the thorn bush or figs from a thistle? I said, all right, you know, notice them by their fruit, not by their tree, by the fruit. You see, the tree trunk shows you the long-term health of something. The fruit shows you the current condition. And then he continues. He said, now there's two kinds of fruit you need to look at. One is the type of fruit. He said, you know, a, a thistle tree uh, and grapes don't come from the same type of a thing. He said, so the, the type of fruit that's going to be produced from a false prophet is different. And a healthy tree produces good fruit, but a diseased tree bears bad fruit. So, okay, he said, so you look at the type of fruit and you look at the quality of the fruit. He said, these are things you have to look at. But let me close with this. He says in verse 19, Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus you will recognize them by their fruits. Now I want you to notice, Jesus did not say that you just accept and tolerate the presence of false prophets hanging around you. You cut them down. You remove their influence in your life. Now I want to challenge you today. When you've got a group of false prophets hanging around, you have to learn, you know what? I don't need this influence in my life. You, you cut the tree down. You, you take the life of it. You stop its ability to communicate with you. Death means separation. Okay? You, you separate these false prophets from your life. I challenge you today. Find good Christians to listen to. Find good churches to be in. Find good pastors to listen to. And then dig in there and study the Word of God with them. But these false prophets, look at their fruit and remove them from your life.